Hi, I'm Walter Blood, Principal, Software, Principal Support Engineer here at, at IBI. And today I'm going to talk to you about what the ZIP doesn't do. Let's get specific about that. The ZIP engine basically is there are things that it cannot do. There's workloads that don't execute on the ZIP engine. Non-authorized modules are not allowed to operate or execute. They must be able to execute in supervisor state. There are no IO interrupts that are allowed on the ZIP. Uh, no clock timer interrupts are, are allowed there. SVC calls like NQD are not allowed on the ZIP. There is no message or print or recover operations available to you on the ZIP. You have limited system services when you're processing on the ZIP. The ZIP, uh, as, a, as a result, any product that's going to be work, work with the ZIP has to be able to flip back and forth between the ZIP and the CP, the, between TCB mode on, the, on the, the central processor and the SRB mode that's required for the ZIP. And you do this in order to be able to flip back from the ZIP in order to do I.O., to, to pick up user routines, to do system sorts. Now, it may actually be that the product that you're going to use when you flip back to the TCB is ZIP enabled. Something like, say, for instance, sync sort. Uh, sync sort is ZIP enabled. And in order to get to uh, from focus ZIP enabled to sync sort ZIP enabled, you have to go back to the TCB, uh, TCB mode and call it from there. Users can tune. Users may not tune, intervene, or even be aware of what the ZIP is doing. The... Think of it as the zip uh, as basically an island, and there's uh, it's an island that's available to the uh, the TCB island, which is where the central processing takes place. Uh, island switching is required anytime an IO action is required, a call to a third party software, or to a local subroutine. Under these circumstances. This may be blocked. There's no guarantee that you will get to the uh, to the SRB Enclave ZIP engine if you call it. There may be uh, the workload may be too heavy at that particular time. The ZIPs may not be available. You can look at your ZIP on ZP statistics in both SMF or in Web Focus and Focus, and actually see what kind of how much work you're actually being prevented to get prevented from getting to the ZIP simply because you don't have access to it or it's not it's. It's, you don't have enough zip available to you. <clears throat> Every job that we have basically will, and will fin finish up with job statistics. And in those job statistics, we're going to give you uh, a number of elements. We're going to show you the unnormalized speed of the zip. There is no amper variable for this. We'll show you the zip on the CP, which is amper folk zip CPU, which is the actual amount of CPU that we were able to move to this from TCB to, from CP to zip. We'll also show you the amount of enabled, zip enabled code or work that did not get to move there because, well, whatever reason, okay, whatever reason it couldn't get there, it had to operate on, a, it had to run on a, uh, on a CP. We'll show you the, the full step CPU and the full step CPU is gonna include not, not only the CPU, which is the Amperfolk CPU that we normally have, but also the zip on CP as well. Well, WLM is, and we talked about it before, WLM is the, is the mechanism by which <clears throat> the U and the operating system figure out how the work is going to process. And you've got a lot, an enormous amount of work, and it's going to be done by a series of distinct service classes and defined goals within those service classes. WLM basically will then sur sample the system every 250 milliseconds to derive a performance index to help measure that goal achievement. Now, there are a number of kinds of goals that you can set for the various processes that are running on your system, and this is something that you're required to do. You can go for an average response time goal for any specific job. Uh, you can take a percentile response time goal for all of the work that's on your system. You can have discretionary goals for specific workloads, and you can even have velocity goals for long running tasks that need a lot of time. <clears throat> Let's take a uh, look. We've covered a lot about the ZIP. Let's just do a quick recap. The ZIP is almost entirely a cost saving mechanism. The MSUs are not counted for the maximum observed capacity of the machine. 
The ZIP chip is identical to a central processor. It is a central processor. It's changed at I, I, installation time. Microcode is loaded and changes its capabilities to, to make it a ZIP engine. A ZIP is always runs at 100% speed. Now, your CPs may be clocked down for a number of reasons, including cost savings. I.O. is not performed on the ZIP. And that means that the programs that you're running, if you want them on the ZIP, are going to have to move off the ZIP in order to do that. So this is something that uh, ZIP enablement is an important piece here. Uh, your programs have to be able to handle this. <clears throat> All non-product services are, must be called from the CP non-product, not part of the product that's currently running. If it's part of the product that's pr currently running, it's, uh, provided it makes uh, it meets the other criteria, it will run from the zip. Uh, but if you have to go to a system sort or non-proprietary database that is not zip enabled or any customer written functions that are also not zip enabled, they are going to have to move to the move off the zip in order to run. The degree of zip usage is largely dependent on your site. You have the controls here. Uh, you, you're the one that's going to make the decision about how, how workload manager drives a dispatcher. All right. So that's up to you. <clears throat> we find that 30 to 80% cost reduction due to the zip for both focus and web focus. So it is something that you clearly want to look at. The current focus product line has been around for a long time battle tested for customers with our customers for over 45 years. It's installed at hundreds of sites around the world. Zip has been enabled in Focus since Focus 7.6 and Web Focus 7.7. The current 9.2.3 releases on both Focus and Web Focus provide full Zip enablement. Uh, in addition to that, there's also a C compiler, IBM C compiler, uh, changes that have been made to provide significant performance improvements that are available in these products. There's, there is a more powerful expression engine designed specifically with a zip in mind and exploitation of the new IBM functionality, including the decimal precision data types, the pervasive encryption. And we've also enhanced and expanded a number of our, uh, of our internal functions, including our internal sort capabilities, specifically for such functionalities as distinct and the our, our sort verb across. So if you're running an old version of Focus, if you're running 7.3, 7.2, 7.1, 7.09, or 7.08R, it is time. You need to upgrade to the latest and greatest Focus or Web Focus. So next time, we'll talk about what Focus and Zip can do together and how they do it.